It'll be worth it when it's done. That's my mantra. It'll be worth it when it's done. The $90 million project at Central Hardin High School has been underway for two years. And some of the changes include renovated gyms, a new cafeteria, and construction of new classrooms. But there's a possibility incoming freshmen won't see it, at least not for their first year. We are considering the need to move our ninth graders to one of two schools that have been vacated, either the old East Harden Middle School or the old Lincoln Trail Elementary. The district superintendent says the plans are contingent on the school board approving the next construction phase. And with nearly 450 freshmen expected next year, school leaders say a satellite campus could help alleviate overcrowding as construction continues and get the project done sooner. But principal Tim Isaacs understands the challenges, including students having a non-traditional year and the impact of busing students to Glendale amid construction of the new Ford battery plant. But we also have to weigh in the logistics of transportation and traffic and all those things and how that could affect us and keep our kids safe. The possibility of relocating freshman students is likely to come with a host of changes. And because parents are expected to have questions and concerns, school officials are giving them the opportunity to provide feedback on this development. Officials anticipate topics to range from extracurricular activities to transportation. What we will do is bring students here and then they will transition over to other buses that will then transport them to either of the two locations that we have. So parents don't have to worry about that. And they will have the same opportunities to play sports, be in clubs and do all those things. We just have to work harder on our end to make sure those kids don't feel like they've missed anything. From Hardin County, Alexis Matthews, WOKY News.